So some people have said they'd like to see more of my personality in my videos. And to that I say... Hey guys, this video is dedicated to explaining the concept behind this thing and answering all your questions. All right, let's go. So this was built on top of an existing workbench that was in my shop already when I moved in. The idea behind this was for it to be fully modular. It's built in three foot sections, which can be swapped around and rearranged. One, if I discover a better workflow, it's got great flexibility. And two, with my wife being in the military, we move every few years. So this was built in anticipation of that to fit in other workshops. Also, the drawer configurations can be swapped out as I see fit. And if anybody else tries to build this, they can use a completely different drawer configuration from what I did. The stop block works with a right to left reading ruler on the left hand side of the saw and a left to right hand reading ruler on the right hand side of the saw. Another cool thing about this is the workstation drawer, the grinder and the sharpener, they plug in through the back of the cabinet. And now for the questions. What kind of plywood did you use on this build? Um, it was all out of three quarter inch pine plywood. Pages are blank. Why am I lying to you? A couple of music related questions. What was the name of that song in the video? It's always down there. How do you find your music? Carefully. Is this an adaptation of Jay Bates' Miter Saw Station? No. There are zero similarities between my design and Jay's design. I didn't see you hop and fart on it though. Maybe that's in an extended version. Build series isn't over yet. What is your plan for dust collection? I actually built this off at the back of the bench about eight inches so I can run the dust collection piping behind the cabinet and run it up through the miter saw station unit. But that doesn't matter. Nothing matters. The world is on fire. One is the Do you have an estimate for how much this project cost you? It took three sheets of three quarter inch plywood and four sheets of quarter inch plywood. So that was a little over $300, including the T-Track and the rulers and things like that. Parkour! Where did you have your branding iron made? Yon, bang, give it up. Prepare yourself. Mr. Tony Rulo, Hillview Wood and Metal. The link is info below. Come on, Snake Eyes. Yes! How many cameras do you commonly use? One. Just take some careful editing. You get the adjustable drawer idea from Jeremy Schmidt. No, he actually stole it from me. Not really, we actually built these at like the same time, so telepathic. Isn't the weight capacity of these drawers severely limited by the way that you built the sliders? Yes, the drawers really aren't big enough though, so it doesn't get weighted down a whole lot, so it's just something you gotta keep in mind. Here's Patlap! How do you access the windows behind it on a hot day? I don't. How much time did this entire build take, and where does a busy Jackman find that time? It was about a week total on and off. I kind of picked away at it as I designed it. And where do I find my time? Carefully. I see you're not in the same space as before, right? Yeah, you must have missed it. I'm gonna do an official shop tour later, but let's take a quick look around. There's the mill building. There's my building. And the river. And the waterfall. What is the source of the foam faced foam that you used in the drawers? Fast cap. It's great stuff. I have a link for that. The T track, the rulers, anything that I bought for this build down in the description. They're all Amazon affiliate links, so I get a little bit of kickback if you use those links to buy anything on Amazon, so I greatly appreciate that. Sell out! Boo! All right, that's it. Thank you for watching the build series. Thank you for your questions. If you decide you want to build this yourself, I do have plans available on my website. I'll link those below. I'll also link a full playlist to the whole project series in case you missed a part or you want to see it in series. Thank you for your support, and thank you for watching.